All right, guys, so we're back. Hello, guys. Today's video is one of the viewers, Glenn, sent us all the stuff from South Korea. So Glenn was in the uh, U.S. military. I believe it was the late 80s. Sorry, Glenn, I can't remember. I think it was late 80s. It's on the email. And he noticed that you could now buy a lot of the things that they had back then. He said what they would do, they would give a lot of their rations uh, to the kids that were hungry. They would go to the stores, the shops, and buy stuff. So pretty much all the stuff was available in the 1980s. We have a huge spread of things. Mm -hmm. Some of it's going to be very good. Some of it's going to be very scary. Very interesting. Yeah, scary and unique things. So. And, uh, yeah, so without any further ado. Kind of excited about this stuff. Really. Let's get into it. Let's start off with a drink. And pick one. <laughs> we got a, looks to be a Korean yoo type chocolate milk stuff, I think. Perhaps. Maybe. Man, it's like, shouldn't it be in the refrigerator? I was like, I don't know. You who's not in the refrigerator, send a metal can, aluminum can. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Let me Let's see this the way. Get fill up a little clear shot here, pouring this out. It smells weird. It it smells like a like chocolate. But it smells kind of like popcorn too. Yeah, it does smell like popcorn. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it looks like you who. I'm going to go easy on this because... Uh, now I'm sure it probably has to be refrigerated since you opened it. Oh, I'm sure. Which we'll do. Okay. Well. Everybody's going to be like, he didn't drink the whole bottle. Yeah, if I did that on every review, it would be It's dead. actually really good, but, but yeah, it does have some kind of a popcorn-y flavor to it. I mean, it, it tastes fine. Doesn't it taste like popcorn? <laughs> So it has, um, what's that cereal that Honey Smacks? Yeah. Sugar like a puff rice. Yeah. Puff, and it has a picture on the front. So I think it's that. Yeah. It tastes like, like Sugar Smacks. You're yeah. Right. You're right. Like a can, like a bottle of cereal, huh? Okay. I have it's actually very nice. Yeah, it is. Nice and smooth. Okay. Okay. That was one of the good things. <laughs> uh, let's see. What should Let's we... start off with the squid first. Okay. Now, I'll tell you this quick, a quick story. If you've ever been to Hawaii, this and like a sweet squid jerky is very common in the gas stations. I actually love that stuff. This is probably similar to that. Uh, that's more of an Asian thing. In, Asia, in uh, Hawaii, you know, it's full of Japanese, Koreans, and uh, that's like a main tourist destination for those people. It's so, 90, 90 calories, and it actually says it has a green tea powder in there, honey and salt, so... Ooh, <laughs> it smells like a uh, cat food or some sort. Just want to. It's weird it. that that stank fish smell is almost like. It smells like uh, you're at a like a, some kind of fish market or something. It's almost like um, it you almost wet. crave it after a while. I want to pull a piece out. You rip it in half. Yeah, I don't want to pull a piece here. Eat your squid. We got a lot of stuff to try. So, oh, okay. It's very sweet. Kind of chewy, very chewy. Um, oh yeah. Fishy taste. It's it's good. Like I like it. He actually ordered this off of Amazon too. Mm -hmm. Different um, this brand or not, but mm -hmm. different brands. Yeah, that's that's nice. I like that. A lot to chew though. I know. We'll, we'll save that for later. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely eat that. Mm -hmm. That's actually very good. Mm -hmm. You don't once you put it in your mouth, you don't smell the fishiness anymore. It goes away immediately. This is Soul Sisters Kimchi Snacks. We'll see. I'm really waiting for the prawn crackers here. Because <laughs> I've had those before and those are very, very good. It doesn't smell like a lot of anything. They're pretty spicy. Sweetness at first. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that fire in my throat. Yep. A little Thai chili action going. Yeah. They're pretty good. They're just a, a little on the spicy side. I'm trying to think what that would be good with. Yeah, you almost need to eat it with something like some kind of sandwich or something. I don't know. I'll tell you what, Glenn, so far. Yeah. 
Everything's very good. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very, very good. Actually, we'll start with her thinking. Move that over to the very I don't end. Know if I'll so try this can, up. Yeah. Um, all right. Are moving you excited, on, Philip, on about down trying down. this? Are you just anchoring for a, a squid snack? He's smacking the microphone. Look at him. I want to see the expression on his face. I bet you like that better than beef jerky, to be totally honest. Let him chomp it down and get a review. Yeah. That one. <clears throat> what do you think? How did you chew through this? Uh, very carefully. You just careful. put it in and it's like like hard jerky. You let it soak like, in your you mouth. You put it in your mouth and soak. And yeah. Like, yeah. He could chew it right through then. Yeah. It's like overly chewy <laughs> jerky. Not so sure about that. All right, moving on along. Silkworm pupa. Pupa, pupa. Or, or pupa? I don't know. I'm not gonna not gonna try to. All right, we got a pop top here. Is it worm poop? We about to find out. It's fresh. Well, no, G squirted out, hit me in the face. So. Oh my. Oh no. Look at that. Don't spill any of it. Oh god. Okay. You want a fork or a spoon? <laughs> but smell it. No juice? Smell it. It smells like plastic. It smells like, uh, what does that smell like? I don't know. It smells like Hobby Lobby. No, it does not. Like the, like <laughs> all the, salt Hobby Lobby like, like all the material yeah, in like, Hobby Lobby, like the dyes and the material. Yeah, it does like, like a plastic factory. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? I'm trying it for you guys. So, you know. Should we dump that out in a bowl maybe? All right, boys, time to dump the poopa. <laughs> that just looks like a bunch of cockroaches. Now, don't act like you don't love silkworms. Oh, God. I want to tilt it up here without dumping it. You guys see that? Look at me. I just want to hurry up and get one and get it over with. <laughs> I got my water over here. See how crunchy she is. Mm -mm. Come on, Nathan. Where's your fork? I'm waiting for you to try it okay. first. Pop in my mouth like a chip. Very salty. Is that good stuff or what? It's like dirt and plastic. It looks like like the torso of like a June bug. Yeah, it, it tastes like a bug. <laughs> well, they obviously feed them cornmeal and stuff. See, I was smart when I brought some water down here. <laughs> Put it aside, Philip. Eat that later. There's a cracker. There's a Ritz cracker if you need to get the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, not yet. We'll, oh, okay. We'll, uh... All right. Next. I mean, let me shift the poopa. Get that over there. Okay. I wouldn't say that was good. Eat. Like, we no. had a good run, and then she hit a wall with That's that. probably going to be the worst worst thing in this whole Well, I don't mess, know if I would go that far, because there's a, some snail-looking stuff over there, too. There's some kimchi. This kind of kimchi. What's the difference between these two, I wonder? I also want to say uh, thank you, Gwen, for the donation, too. We'll definitely buy some rations with that. Okay, one says uh, gat, gat kimchi. Probably didn't say that right. And this is... Oh, i got to show them. I'm not sure. Is there any English on these? I'm about to whip the translate. Yeah. Canned kimchi. Uh, salted Chinese cabbage. Chinese cabbage salt. Well, I'm sure it's got salt and cabbage in it. <laughs> uh spring onions red pepper sorry the the poop is kind of coming back the up the poop is kind of getting to me salt garlic and ginger and salt again garlic ginger ginger and monosodium glutamate so msg okay and this one has leaf mustard tablet salt tablet salt not table salt red powder red pepper powder onion water Rice sauce, garlic, ginger, monosodium. It's kind of the same thing. Right. Exactly. Should we even open both of them? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know my breath's like, Bleh. got like pupa in my teeth. I mean, this one looks nastier. This one's like little rolls. Okay. Looks like, yeah, it's not. Like spinach. Let me wipe my pupa fork off here. I'll just do the same fork. I'm, I'm just scared this is going to be spicy. Oh my god, the smell of that. Oh, Nathan, it smells like garlic. 
That smells like death. Oh, it smells like garlic. It smells good, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get a big chunk of I it. I know, the big piece. Okay. That's a little spicy. I know the taste of this. I'm going to be so careful of this. You know, oh it has a lot of garlic it in it. It freaking stinks. I'm going to pass. Okay. That's going to ruin everything else for me. Okay. We're got to, let's put that outside. So this is good. <laughs> it's just spicy. Okay. All right. Cut. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it outside. Cut. Next up is our canned whelk. Pretty much our canned snails It'll here. Make you welk your pants, you too much of that. <laughs> Whoop. Look out. All right, the you canned snails. You fork or you get on your fork yet? Look at all the juice Just in there, Just don't splash all that. See how close that was? Mm-hmm. Looks like, kind of looks like mushrooms or octopus or something. I don't know. I mean, it's, is that like a sea snail? Well, I don't know. Let's just, just keep it rolling here. It doesn't smell bad. It to... smells almost like beef stew. Here, I'll try not to drip it all over the table. Eat your whelk. It smells like mushrooms or something. What is whelk? Where's my phone at? It's actually it's a little bit sweet. Kind of weird. Okay, it tastes like a, like a clam or an oyster or something. It's chewy like that. It's not bad at all, really. What is whelk? Predatory marine mollusk with a heavy pointed spiral shell and some kinds of which are edible. Hopefully this is that kind. No, it's not that bad. Like I said, it almost has like a, a sweet, I guess whatever is in that brine. It smells almost like a beef stock, don't it? Something like that. But yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about with the sweet stuff. It's stuck in my teeth. It's very chewy. Mm hmm It's almost like a really, really, really firm mushroom. Mm hmm Yeah. It, it doesn't really have like a fishy, like, taste to it. It tastes hmm. more like of a, on the level of a mushroom. You're right. But it seems like if they didn't put any kind of seasoning in the broth, it had no flavor. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, while we're on the fish, um, this is a mackerel pike. Wild caught. Man. Uh, the whelk kind of got me a little bit. I mean, I think it's just after that kimchi stank, it was a little bit weird. Let's get that along with my fingers. And uh, in fact, we'll, ins we'll do an insert for you guys on both these. So you know. Now that's stanky, so don't spill it. I already got some on my fingers. <laughs> you wearing it. Oh, okay. Don't splash it. Voila. You're gonna throw that can outside too, or what? But I'm Phil not really smelling it. Like it's not strong. Phillips over like, damn, that looks good. <laughs> All right, this calls for a paper towel. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a Ritz, huh? Okay. It's like I, I didn't like get the fishiness until like I bit into it. It just tastes like a sardine, not as strong as a sardine. I mean, that's pretty much what it, what it is, I guess. Oh, you're going for a big piece, huh? I'll fill up getting there and get in on that. So it's not as fishy as this mackerel, so I mean. Well, not until you bite into it. Yeah, that's what it tastes like, just like a sardine or something. A lot of people are, are horrified by sardines, but I'm not really. Mm -mm. I guess I'm pretty like, nothing really phases me. I don't know. A little bit of smoky taste to it. Need a drink after all the fishes. <laughs> Next up is corn silk tea, unsweetened.
not too much. Oh, well, it's tea. It shouldn't be too bad. How bad can it be? Ooh. It smells like a... Corn? Corn, yeah. Corn silk, one may say. Honestly, it tastes like water. It smells like popcorn. Like, like corn water. It smells like popcorn. Or popcorn water, yeah. It tastes like you put popcorn kernels in water and you drink it. Really nothing to it. Pretty plain. It's missing sugar in it. Mm -hmm. That's what it's missing. But could you drink it? Yes, you could. No problem whatsoever. It's just it's so bland. All right. And that may be supposed to be heated up. Like it would be better I if it was like hot so. tea. All right, let's get that out of the way. Man. All right. Heck, it's, out of everything here, the kimchi it just, it's got me. It's got me. It wasn't that bad, though. Oh, my God. All oh, right. my God, your Pass breath. It. Did you smell our breath? <laughs> what do <are> you... <laughs> Prawn cracker. Wait till the prawn crackers and then smell my breath. I've had these before. These actually are very good. I've not had this brand. They have a knife somewhere. I know. I don't know where, but. They're very airy. They do have that. Um, kind of fishy taste, aftertaste. They're not bad, though. Really. They're very mild. I had ones before that were a lot stronger. Yeah, these stronger. are very mild compared to the ones you had. Yeah, pretty mild. Not Overall, bad. it's a very nice snack. Mm -hmm. It's not overly fishy. It's not anything um, like that at all. If you can't eat that, you got problems. Just throw it over it's, here. You have a mental block of seafood, but that's really, really decent. Right. It's not real salty. It's just like uh -uh. between. What's that other thing right there? Um, I'm not really sure what those are actually. Say anywhere. Turtle chips, sweet bean. It's like a, a bean potato chip. It's got a, it has a lot that? of some kind of like coating on it. I can't tell if they try to make it sweet, like, or it's not really like salt, some kind of powdery coating. It was like bean flavored. A lot of sugar on it. It's really different. Yeah. Mm. Not bad, but not my favorite thing. We flour vegetable oil. And the only flavor seasoning. It's got a very unique sugar, peanut butter, peanut yeah. paste, roasted soybean flour. That's probably what you taste. Okay. Fermented wheat flour and in and Jolimi. It's I N J E O L M I. Hmm. Yeah, those are different. I don't know. I don't know about those. It's more of a dessert thing, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we needed our our bean pouch. This is black bean porridge. Let's get a couple of spoons, I guess. Yep. It's almost like a cereal. Yeah, it is. It's, it's weird. Let's see. You squeeze it around. Like. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Hmm? Oh, you want to let them see it? No. Well, yeah. yeah. That's fine. So it's like slimy, very. Yeah. Eat your porridge. Eat your gruel. Mm. That's like very slimy. And not much bean taste. I'll give you colon blow. Ugh. I don't like that. That is probably the next nastiest thing compared to the soapworm. But. It says water, rice, black beans, refined sugar, salt. Uh, xanthan gum, dextrin, black bean powder. I feel like there's too much water in there. All right, so next up, ginseng up. Jingsi, jingsing. <laughs> I'm all like, brains all sideways here from trying weird stuff. 
This is soda, ginseng soda. And that has a date on there of April 11th of 2023. Not too much, not as much as that. Okay. So in case like, you're wondering. Looks like beer. <laughs> this has caffeine-free, no artificial flavors. Ingredients were triple filtered carbonated water, uh, cane sugar, honey, Korean ginseng extract, citric acid, ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, uh, potassium citrate, caramel color, licorice root extract. It's actually very nice. It's it's mild. Um, it's not it's not sweet or anything. That's some serious fizz to it. It tastes like a, a very like a healthy like drink you'd drink. I don't know. I, I like this. This is probably out of the three drinks the best drink. Has a hint of the licorice flavor. So like a hint of maybe a slight root beer. Mm hmm. And cream soda kind of thing, yeah. but really yeah, mild. Yeah, kind of remind you of cream soda, like a mild cream soda, you're right. Yeah, I like that. Okay. We got some strawberry Pocky. So Pocky, you can buy this. Um, this is an Asian snack. You can buy it at Walmart. Strawberry cream covered biscuits. That's actually very good. Yeah, it is. Mm. Nice strawberry flavor. Kind of like a pretzel. Like strawberry you know what it like? pretzel stick. It's What's good. that cereal when we were kids? Um, it's not the Count Chocolate, but the... Oh, like a Frankenberry? Frankenberry. Mm -hmm. The sticks, though, it tastes like a, a butter pretzel. Kind of like. Hmm. Oh, it's good. And then we have some chocolate pocky. I want to drink more than that, but it has sugar in it. And... Stuck together. Oh. I don't know why. Mm. I think I like the chocolate better. Just because it tastes like a chocolate covered pretzel, I guess. <laughs> They're both really good, though. Yeah, they are really good. Now, what well, may be the worst thing out of all of it. Oh, no, it's not. The best thing, probably. Um, Coffee-flavored peanuts. I've been actually looking forward to these. I think Philip. Look at the can, though. The can's big, like, flares down the bottom, flares down the top. Mm -hmm. They look like um, those, what is it, the Boston beans, that candy-coated... Um, you know what I'm talking about? Well, one of those is about 30 years. I know. A Boston bean, you say? Mm hmm. Mm. I don't smell anything. They don't really have a coffee flavor. They do. It does taste like one of the Boston bean candies. Basically, um, a peanut covered in like some red candy coating. They're good. Do you taste any coffee? I don't. It's almost like a. It's like a, a toffee. It's like a honey. Yeah, like a kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. I was worried it's gonna be like more. basically like coffee grind stuck to a peanut. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is like you know, sell no me coffee. out for that one. But okay. all right. So, what's your best thing that you've tried? Um, I'm trying to think here. The squid jerky is the best. All the snacks, the kimchi crisp. Uh, I would say the the squid jerky. The prawn or the shrimp crackers was next. Then the chips, two chips were next after that. The mackerel is totally fine. The silkworm things, I'll let you guys have the rest of those. Mm -mm. <laughs> the kimchi was wretched. The sea snail things weren't bad, but it's, we're not used to it. And also the, the chocolate drink was really good. Mm -hmm. All the drinks were really good. Mm -hmm. Except for the corn was a little bit weird, but it wasn't bad. Um, for me, these are my favorite, along with the Pockies. Um, the ginseng soda was good. I, I think the kimchi in the can was actually not bad at all. There's something wrong with you. The worst thing was those beans, the bean porridge, the water stuff, and the silkworms. But The bean porridge didn't taste bad, it was just 
the wrong texture. Yeah. It was slimy. Right. And probably whatever gum extract they had in it was mm -hmm. probably doing that or what kind of beans it was. Right. But that's going to be it, guys. Yeah. Thank you all for watching the video. Glenn, thank you very much for the snacks. Yeah, it was very interesting. We enjoyed it. And that's going to be it. We'll see you all again very soon. All right.